Valentine's Day is coming up, with many planning to celebrate love with special gifts for their partners. But experts warn it's a busy time of the year for scammers, cashing in on unsuspecting customers. News 8's Catherine Hauser joins us with more on what you need to know to avoid becoming a victim. Catherine. Lisa, unfortunately, this is the not-so-sweet side to Valentine's Day. The Better Business Bureau of Connecticut is sharing what Valentine's scams are being frequently reported and what you need to look out for. Valentine's Day, a time of gifting candy and flowers to the ones you love. The National Retail Federation says more than half of Americans celebrated in 2023, but experts warn it's a popular time for scammers, creating imposter websites like phony florists, even fake jewelers. Kristen Johnson florist. is with the Better it's Business Bureau jewelers. in Connecticut. Uh, what we see these scammers doing is copying and pasting pictures, logos, fonts from real websites and creating their own websites. So you think it's the real deal and you're seeing products for 80% the price that you're seeing elsewhere. If the price is too good to be true, don't go for it and do your research. Another scam the Better Business Bureau is seeing, wrong number texts from someone trying to lure you into a conversation. They urge you to delete it because if you reply. Now they know this is a real number and they will inundate you with text after text after text. And some of those will include links that if you click on them could lead to nefarious websites. They could also cause you to download malware onto your phone. And once they have access to your contacts, they can repeat this scam over and over. And for those looking for love online, beware of romance scams where someone establishes a connection, builds trust, then takes advantage. If someone asks you for money and you've never met them in person, you need to take a step back. You should never give money to someone you've only met over the internet. The Better Business Bureau Connecticut has a scam tracker so you can check out the latest scams that are out there. You can compare notes. You can also report scams on there anonymously. For more information, we have a link for you on that scam tracker on our website, WTNH.com. I'm Katherine Hauser, News 8, Lisa.